Hello, and thanks for taking the time to watch this Wonder Where Cincinnati Did You Know video. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how you can use the built-in orchestra graphic displays, which provide information about the infrastructure objects of your application server solutions. This includes things like platforms, app engines, uh, your engine's configuration for history, and more. And these infrastructure components are viewable in either the traditional InTouch HMI or the new InTouch OMI. So, Let's dive into how you can make use of these components. First of all, where do we find these components? Well, within the graphics toolbox in the Orchestra Symbol Library, you're gonna find some of these things built in called displays. As you can see, there are several of them that can be used and they were built for you to use pretty much as is without the need for you to go open them up in here and customize them. In fact, the infrastructure objects like the engine, historian, and platform displays need no modification to work at all. Now some of them, like the PID, might need you to tweak them just a little bit, but only when you embed them in your objects later on. Let's focus in on the infrastructure components first and see how we can use them. To get started, let's demonstrate this by taking a look at the derivation view of our galaxy. And we'll focus in on one particular object structure, the application engines. Notice how we're following the best practices of always having at least three levels of template derivation before we start creating our instances? Well, we're gonna say that having the ability to view the status of our engines and their historian configurations is something that we want every solution that makes use of application server in our corporation to use. So, we're gonna make this change at the corporate level of our derivation architecture. We'll do this by opening up the object template and creating a couple of graphics starting with a graphic that we'll use to allow people to view the status of our application engine overall. We'll start with providing a label so people will know specifically what they're looking at. And then we'll just embed the app engine primitive display. Now it's already all wired up to do all the work without any additional changes. The only other thing I need to think about doing here is if we're going to be using this graphic with InTouch OMI, you might need to set the content type. Now I am doing this, so I'm gonna set it to the overview type to align with my OMI layouts. If you need more information on that, see our videos on InTouch OMI. Well, we can save and close this one, and then we're gonna to wanna to add just one more. The display that shows us the status for our engine's integration with the historian. Again, we'll create the graphic, we'll open it up, we'll create a label, and then we're just gonna use the embed orchestra graphic option here and embed that one to where provided graphic. Now it too works without any additional configuration, and like the last one, I want this to work in a specific way within my configured InTouch OMI application, so I'm going to set the content type to overview. Now it's important to understand that we added these graphical components to the template so that we don't have to add them manually to each engine. I mean, I could have done the same thing at the object instance level. But in doing so, I would have had to manually do all these actions for each object's instance. And this would be, well, quite honestly, a waste of time, right? <laughs> now, by doing this at the template level, every object instance that inherits from this template will automatically have this capability. In other words, I can make a change in one place and it becomes available in dozens, potentially even hundreds of other places everywhere we have engines. Our little demo only has two, but many real-world applications have dozens and dozens of engines, so this saves us a ton of time, obviously saving money, right? Overall, pretty awesome. Okay, let's take a look at how we can visualize these in InTouch, and we'll start with the traditional InTouch HMI. Within my pre-configured HMI application, I've already built the infrastructure or the InTouch windows to view these graphics by simply clicking on them on the side navigation area. Notice that they come up and they automatically populate with valuable information without me having to make any other changes like the CPU load, the RAM, all these things. And we can also see how the engine is doing in relation to our historian just by clicking on the other display and checking out its variables. Our InTouch OMI application is basically the same thing. We can view the same information, but it's presented or shown obviously in InTouch OMI. I want you to keep in mind here, the same graphic can be used in traditional InTouch applications or the new OMI. I don't have to create different application graphics. I don't have to create different orchestra symbols. I can utilize the same symbol, whether I'm using it in InTouch HMI or InTouch OMI. 
Well, we hope this short video has been helpful to you in understanding how to better make use of the built-in displays provided out of the box in every system platform solution. If you have any questions or would like additional information, please feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-421-5253 or visit us at www.atrdistributing.com or wonderwarecincinnati.com.